All right, so the boss man needs his catalog. Open up the catalog.yaml. All right, he wants a new data set. New. We need a type. What is it? Extras? Uh, da data? Pand? I don't... I don't remember. Where's my catalog? You said you'd have it done. I see you over there, stumbling through that catalog. Gotta go through the docs every time you need a new data set. Neovim, great editor, huh? Can't even complete a YAML file. Just get me that catalog. ASAP. Alright, so we don't want that embarrassing nonsense to happen again. So today, we're gonna set up a YAML language server. Now, why would you need a YAML language server? Well, what it can do is it can tap into a schema provided by a framework or any other tool that gives you a JSON file for this YAML schema. I'm doing a 30 day dot files rice challenge and I'm posting uh, as many of those clips here as I can. Follow along so you don't miss any. Let's get on into it, back into this file. So you're gonna need this uh, plugin the nvim lsp config. Next, we're gonna have to look in our init.vim, and in here we have our lsp config. So what that is, is a file in my dot files slash lua Waylon walker lsp config dot lua. Make this file once it's required in init.vim. Uh, pop down to the bottom here. So we're going to have to require LSP config YAML ILS that setup on all of my language servers. I have unattached and I have capabilities set. Uh, the one special thing set here is um, settings, YAML schemas. And here you pop in a Lua table of schemas. So it's this uh, square bracket list of schemas and then on the right hand side is a file path glob to signify when you should autocomplete with that schema. In mine I have two loaded, one for the Kedro catalog and one for my GitHub workflows. Last thing we need here for setup is a language server. If you're ever uh, unsure about what you should install for a language server, NVIM LSP install is really nice. You can use it. Uh, you can like uh, plug install nvim lsp install and then install to your heart's desire uh, sometimes i don't like to install things the same way that they do so i just pop on over to their git repo and in here i can see uh, they're using yaml language server at latest here's a good example i don't use yarn i just use npm dash g npm install dash g um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this, go back on over to the terminal, and you can see we've already ran this server, ran this command, so we've got the server. Pop on up to NeoVim, and let's go ahead and give this a restart, and we should have a YAML language server running. All right, so we're going to open up that catalog.yaml just like we did before, and now when we type in type, oh, pandas, um, Yes, please. Which one do we want? Um, we actually have a Parquet data set today. So there, it auto-completed that uh, type for us. Also notice here that the JSON schema specifies file path as a required property when we specify a type of pandas.parquet data set. Uh, so it gives me a nice gentle reminder that I need a file path and I can just put it here. So there's my catalog entry. I'm no longer tripping over, uh, you know, where these uh, types are coming from. They're kind of hard to remember. You know, are they in extras? Are they in pandas? Are they in, you know, like we've got uh, another. All right, I'm trying to smooth out some rough edges on my dot files, and I'm taking this month to do a dot file rice challenge. Make sure you follow along for all of the videos here. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I hope you learned how to set up a YAML language server.